We are now into our third week of season two of Fortnite and there is obviously a lot of new features in this season that you guys need to be aware of in order to actually be good at the game. There's also a lot of common things that have stayed the same from previous seasons, all that will make you a overall good player. And in this video today, guys, I basically want to analyze and go through with you guys the top best things that you can actually do to become a better player of Fortnite. Now, by all means, I I am far from being a pro, I am far from being good, but over the past week or two now I've been playing the game a lot more and I'm starting to actually realise the things that you should be doing in order to actually get better at the game. And obviously I do actually watch a lot of actual professional Fortnite players, so I do know the actual basis of what it does require to be a good Fortnite player, how to actually get there, and I do believe that anyone with the right dedication, the right amount of time and effort put in, can become a pro Fortnite player. So guys, without further ado, if you do actually go on to find this video useful, make sure you do indeed let me know by smashing that thumbs up button. Obviously, subscribe to me here on the channel to stay up to date with all of the latest Fortnite news leaks and updates and anything Fortnite related like this video here. And finally, guys, make sure you are indeed using someone's creator code in the Fortnite item shop when you do purchase stuff there. And if you do want to help support me, it is indeed code bubbles. It really does go a long way. Thank you all in advance. Hashtag ad, hashtag game partner. Let's get cracking those straight in with the video today guys what are these top tips to becoming a Fortnite pro so moving into our first tip of actually improving as a player of Fortnite the biggest thing that you can do right now in Fortnite is 1v1s I never done 1v1s in the past because I always got absolutely destroyed and basically didn't have a good time in other words I got a bit salty but actually what I've learned over the past week is that actually if you play 1v1s surprisingly you do actually get better now the quickest way in which you can actually learn how to win gunfights is by 1v1ing your friends if you don't 1v1 your friends then you're missing out on these opportunities of literally constant battles constant build fights and that is honestly the best way that when you then jump into an actual game of Fortnite, you're going to know what to do in those kind of situations if someone places a cone over your head you've seen it all before in these 1v1s just an example there so honestly the first thing you should probably do is jump into 1v1s with your mates and basically battle it out and play. Now another huge tip is alongside 1v1s is indeed also in creative and this is kind of a common sense one really I don't know why you wouldn't be doing it is when you first jump on the game warm up in creative jump into your own little island practice your building make sure that you're actually doing your 90s doing them actually effectively Practice some high ground retakes. High ground retakes are very, very important, especially in becoming actually a casual player to then an actual, you know, getting somewhere player. You're going to need to learn high ground retakes. You're going to need to learn all of that kind of jazzy stuff. All of your edits, practice this all in creative. Spend some time on it because it does become a little bit complicated at the start. It is a bit complicated at the start, rather. And honestly, until you get used to it, it's going to be weird. So try it keep it going watch tutorials there's loads of tutorials on all these high ground retakes on youtube so find some of them and yeah just get it going and keep practicing basically but guys don't just practice your builds a lot of people i see do just practice builds make sure you're practicing your aim as well again there are so many maps in creative on youtube which will give you load of codes for loads of aim maps Make sure you use them, make sure you practice it because your aim is one of the key things that needs to be good. Anyone can hold a wall, anyone can turbo build, but not everyone can aim well. So make sure you can aim well and make sure your aim is warmed up before you jump into like arena matches and all of that kind of stuff because otherwise you're not going to be winning these gunfights. Now the next one is indeed a more so topic for in-game. Now in-game there are so many people that actually say these are the different loadouts that you need to use. You need to rock a heavy sniper, you need to rock minis and floppers and this this and this which yeah probably to be fair minis and floppers are the best advice that someone could give you in using. However if you don't feel comfortable using them, if you don't like using a heavy sniper and you've never got a kill with one, don't use it. 
It's, it's common sense. It's as simple as that. Don't listen to what other people find good and useful because if you don't find it useful and you're not good with the weapon, use what you are good with. Some people will be better with the famous and some people will be better with the scar. Me personally, I prefer the famous. I'm better with it. I like the three round burst of it. However, you might prefer the scar and like the fully auto. Again, use exactly what you're comfortable with and I can guarantee you that you will perform better in gunfights when you do so. My next tip is indeed going to be more so about actual landing spots. Now, everyone's got their favourite areas to drop in Fortnite and a lot of people do, however, just land here, there and everywhere. Maybe landing certain places for challenges, which we all do, it's fine. But if you're playing competitive games, so arena or any cash cups or that kind of thing, you really want to try and avoid landing at just random areas every single match. You want to beforehand land at the specific same locations in arena matches so you can practice them and actually learn exactly how every single part of that POI or non-name location works. Work out how the builds work, work out rotations around that part of the map, work out if there's different fishing spots around. It's so key to actually have a set location that you'll constantly land at or just the rough kind of corner of the map so that then you can learn exactly how that map will function, how you can optimize it to get the best possible loot as possible. Say obviously if there's the slurp trucks, I personally have been really enjoying landing craggy cliffs at the moment and what I find is that there's a slurp truck that's right there, I personally like to land there first, get my health and shield all the way up to 100, 100 and then proceed on to getting guns because 99% of the time someone else isn't going to land there and that gives me the shield off the bat so when I find minis I don't need to pop them, I've already got the shield and can stack them for later game. Obviously I'm not saying go to that landing spot, find the landing spot that you like, that you know how to work around, that you know how to rotate around, get loot, all of that kind of stuff and land there constantly prior to these kind of big games that you want to play, these arena games and make sure you're ready so that when you do have these arena games, these cash cup games, all of the rest of it, you know exactly what you're doing and you can have a very good start to your early and mid game because honestly during these competitive games the late game is where you will be getting your most amount of points so if you're not making it to there you're not going to be getting many points at all. Now my next point is indeed actually to do with settings. Again there are so many different tutorials online the best settings that you should be using the best keybinds that you should be using all of that kind of stuff don't use it if it's not right for you. Make sure you set what you like and stick to it. As soon as you find comfortable with your settings, keep it up and stop, keep on tweaking it. For those people that keep on tweaking their aim, tweaking this, tweaking that, it's not really going to work out too well if you're constantly changing it. Fair enough if you tweak it here and there because it doesn't feel right, fair enough. But if it feels right and you're still tweaking it to maybe adjust to YouTubers and streamers and all of that kind of stuff, stop doing it do what you're comfortable with because honestly you are not going to be getting better if you keep on changing your aim and you have to keep on adjusting. It would be much more beneficial for you to actually stick to one and work on improving that. Now my next tip is indeed going to be about mobility. Mobility is so limited this season. We have obviously the boats which aren't that great and they're really not that good methods of transportation and we do actually have launch pads now. Thank goodness launch pads are in indeed in arena matches as well this season. So what is my whole point about this? My whole point is basically optimizing what you've got. If you have a launch pad and you haven't got that far to go to the zone, don't use it. Don't play silly with it. Make sure you're trying to save these launch pads for late game and trying to save them if you really need it in a sticky situation. Don't use them for the sake of it because like I said, rotations are really tough and this map there's a lot of hills there's a lot of everything so if you've got to constantly burn your mats to get up and down hills use launch pads and that kind of thing you're gonna want launch pads basically if it's a late circle and you've got to go all the way up and you've got barely any mats left make sure you've got launch pads and make sure if you can use a boat instead of a launch pad in the early mid game then it will be way more beneficial for you to use a boat or to just alternatively run. And there is also the new areas on the map, the hideouts. And in the hideouts, you can actually take toilets and you can take the actual dumpsters to get around the map. So a big 
big, big tip is similar to what I was saying earlier. Learn that area of the map specifically that you start with. And when you know that, start to learn the hideaways and where they actually take you. Because if there's a random toilet that's near you and you know that when you go in it, you'll come out in the middle of the map more, then it can be really beneficial for you to actually know that so you can use it to get away from these storms as mobility is limited. And finally, guys, my final tip is actually to just play different game modes. It's all fun and games being absolutely the beast of solos or doing really well in just squads. But if you don't know how to play each of the three different modes, solo, duos, and squads, and potentially trios that maybe might be coming, I don't really know. No one really knows at this moment of time. If you can't play the other game modes, you're not going to be doing too well in different competitions. And just in general, when you're playing with mates and that, you need to know because each of the three of them, four of them technically, play very differently and you want to be able to actually play in all of them. So practice in all of the different game modes. The more practice you get in each of these as well will only benefit you because you'll be able to know what it's like to take on 1v1s and then if you're getting third party you know how to kind of do it without the reliance of your teammates and vice versa you have got teammates you know that you can actually rely on them how to stick with them how to move with them and all of that kind of stuff so it's really helpful if you actually know all of the different game modes and try and play them evenly so you're not just playing one heavy but guys, that is indeed going to be that for today. I hope you have found that useful. They're my kind of tips on how to improve as just a casual player of the game. I spoke a lot about Arena because honestly, I think Arena is pretty fun. And I just feel like that's really the only judge at the moment of how good you are based on your arena points and um, based on how you actually perform in arena games since they are the technically competitive and only competitive games that we actually have in the game at the moment. But guys, like I said earlier, if you have found that useful, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Obviously, subscribe to me for more Fortnite content. I post all kinds of news leaks and updates here on the channel. And finally, guys, make sure you are indeed using someone's credit code in the Fortnite item shop. And if you want to help support me, it is indeed code bubbles. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. And until next time, have an amazing day. See ya.